Hello and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4. Today we are playing the Battle for the Bosporus content pack, as they're calling it. It's not an expansion this time, it's a content pack. I suppose it's because there's no new mechanics. Actually, no. No, there would be. There's the stuff in Turkey. Anyway, well, let's get into it. I'm not going to nitpick the naming. Yes, thank you, Windows, for showing me notifications because I'm in borderless full screen rather than normal full screen. I'm almost certain I complain about that constantly. So what country shall I play as? We got a reworked Yugoslavia, then we have Bulgaria, Greece, and Turkey with new focuses. Or trees. Let's do Greece. I've had a cursory glance of their folk of all the of uh, Turkey's and Greece's focus trees before I started. Nah, historical AI off. I like the chaos. If you've watched any of my Among Us series, you will know I like the chaos. Okay. What am I gonna do? Oh, yes, of course, I want to restore Byzantium, so I have to go down this way, I believe. Yes. Surprisingly enough, uh, getting the king's government does not allow you to restore Byzantium, which I find very disappointing. So let's see. Uh, the king is placed under house arrest. Okay. Place the king under house arrest. How many do I have? I have two. I have two naval dockyards. Naval dockyard, just dockyard. I always say naval dockyards for some reason. Uh, let's get some convoys. Rebuild the Salamis. Interesting. That early game lag. All right. Well, it's only two steel, and I only have four factories. Now, we can do without the steel for now. I gotta pay off my debts. I got debt to the IFC. The Venezlists win the election. The Greek people filled the streets of Greece today, celebrating the choice of the army to ensure the monarchists could not interfere with the election results. 
The Venezilists have been delivered a powerful mandate to govern. Returning from their exile abroad. But they face an uphill battle, uniting a very divided country. And a country that has not forgotten the disastrous war that the Venezilists pulled the whole country into in 1919. There also remains the question of what the Venezilists will do with the captured Greek monarch, regardless of what happens. Interesting times lay ahead for Greece. Uh, monarchists become indifferent and communists become indifferent. At last we have returned. Uh, a few more days of that. Uh, uh, derp, I need to do this first. I don't know why I was thinking I did it already. What do I have to do over here? Oh yes, my debt repayments. Um, how does this work? Consumer goods factories. Hmm. Let's repay the British. Oh, Jesus. Why does it cost so much to see foreign, uh, foreign monopolies and... That. What is that? Ah yes, my economic ties with Germany. Oof. Looks like I'm still on toasters for now. Uh, could get something else. Entrenchment expert. Monarchists are friendly or loyal. Hmm. I can't get any of these. A lot of uh, our guys are locked off. Yeah, let's do this guy. Bulgarian government supports IMRO. Hmm. Compromise with the monarchists. Hmm. Looks like Germany's not doing remilitar remilitarize the Rhineland. 
Very interesting. Oh, I want I want to defend the monarchists. Second London Naval Treaty. Poor Ethiopia. Doesn't stand a chance in vanilla. Straits have been remilitarized. Well, no battle for the Bosporus, Bosporus today. That's the end of the game. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, come on. All oh, right, that focus made the uh, monarchists friendly. I wish to crush the communists. We have here. Uh, political power gain. Yeah, let's get you plus ten percent political power gain. I require the big PP. Germany must be doing the other part of their tree first. Because if they weren't going to do remilitarize the Rhineland, they would have done uh, oppose Hitler and they would have had a civil war by now. Oh, I forget to do this every time. There we go. Spanish Civil War. Looks like it turned, it started as normal. Up oh, there it is. Yeah, they just did some other parts of their tree first. Tertullian fascists mobilize. The self-proclaimed so fascist movement in Greece has reorientated accordingly to our new political reality. Bitter and disgruntled Greek refugees exiled from Turkey are starting to flock to the new radical political movement of Georgios Cosmidis, or however that's pronounced. I don't know how to pronounce Greek. Another Greek exiled from his homeland. Cosmetis is a local proponent of the Megali idea and the reclamation of historical territories lost to 
Lost Arch Turkey. All right, well, there's a typo. That's going in the bug report. Although his views are far more radical than any in the Venezuelan administration. Some reports suggest Cosmitis aspires for Greece's borders to extend beyond just the Aegean. That he may have designs on the entirety of Anatolia. However, such reports should be taken with a grain of salt. What sort of man mad madman could make designs over the entirety of Turkey? Nobody will ever follow up that way. I might. I might eventually. I might get there eventually. If I want to crush the fascists, let's see. Yes, doing these focuses requires I be fascist. Ah, yes, I do need to go fascist. Because in order to get this focus, I need to have both of these focuses done. And in order to do this focus, I need to be fascist. Okay, okay. I don't know if I've said this yet, but I'm going into this mostly blind. The only research I've done is a cursory glance of what I want to do in the focus tree. Uh... Aristotle Onassis returns to Greece. Wealthy, wealthy magnate, internationally beloved socialite Aristotle Onassis has returned to Greece for the first time in many years. He did not take questions from the media, and he has been hard for our observers to track down. But reports indicate he is ingratiating himself with the Anatolian refugee population and might be organizing a bid to take office. What is he planning? Uh. Oh yes, I pay my debts to the French. Italy will get none of my money, unless I absolutely need to give it to them. I don't have 1936 guns. Uh, leadership purges. Nothing new there. And I have not put a focus. Tripoli members engage in street violence with our police. Brawls between Tripoli members and our own police force have broken out across the country, forming a, forming a tableau. I don't know. I don't know what that's. Uh, I don't know what that is. Of a time of political violence, we had hoped we had left in the past. Apparently, judging by all the reports of hospitalizations and escalating violence, we have not. Some ministers suggest taking a very hardline stance on, the on this violence to show to the country that we do not tolerate this kind of thuggery. But other ministers caution that fighting the fascists tit for tat is not a battle winnable by us. People are angry and discontent, but that should not give them the right to commit such wanton acts of violence. 
Äh, okay. I think I want to embrace the fascists. Their grievances are legitimate. I'll set up. Hmm. I'm gonna want to save doing this until later. I uh, can't make that. Do I befriend the fascists? Or do I do nothing? I can't crush the communists. Uh, let's see what story. Ah, right, so I have to do this. It's one of the things I have to do before I can crush the communists. Got to crush your enemies. Get another political advisor. Mm -hmm. right, let's get a Prince of Terror. Tripoli demand higher wages for Greek workers. The Tripoli have exploited the national spotlight thrust upon them by launching a scathing attack on what they perceive to be our weak approach to welfare. The idea that these fascists that emerge from the woodwork seemingly out of nowhere think they are in a position to lecture us on fiscal and social policy is laughable, but the public seem to be taking them very seriously. Fascism. Read all this. Let's see. Eleftherios Venizelos passes away. Ah, my political party leader died. Greece owes you a debt it will never be able to repay. Triple E members plunder foreign-owned factory and distribute stolen goods. In an unfortunately all too familiar scene, adherents of the Triple E have broken into foreign-owned factories for the purpose of distributing the goods manufactured within to the poor and disenfranchised. Georgios Cosmidis and the leadership of the Triple E claim to have no knowledge of the activities. 
but have also passionately defended the men and women taking part in the apparently altruistic string of plunders. This type of behavior really cannot be tolerated. We are already receiving complaints from foreign magnates coming from countries like the United Kingdom and France. Still, if we step in on behalf of the industrialists, we will look like puppets of foreign financers. Alternatively, if we let this anarchy run rampant, then we s then we seem an incapable government to the international community. But I want the fascism. Negotiations with the Triple E. The dastardly Anatolian fascists have been sowing chaos while making themselves unapproachable by the government since the very inception of their malignant movement. However, things appear to be changing. We have been approached with their offer to make the deal of a century, to join our forces with the Anatolian fascists to further our mutual goal of a defeat of Turkey. It cannot be denied that many of our administration would make this deal with the devils of our nation simply to get them to cease their anti-government actions. And it also cannot be denied that there are even some serpents among our civil servants that find the Tripoli's goals agreeable, or even laudable. Thankfully, Magnet Aristotle Onassis has presented us with an alternative course of action. Onassis, also being from Anatolia, will form a counter-movement using his fame, business acumen, and personal wealth, and use that movement to sap the Tripoli's support base. This course of action by no means guarantees of a squashing of the Triple E. But we have more than enough evidence to, to suggest Onassis could well pull off the caper if we ask him to. I kind of want the fascist spell. Hmm. No proper save. Did the screen always go gray when you open up the... That... Is that new? I think that's new. Hmm. I remember seeing that in the patch notes. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Um... Yes. The ghosts of the past will not return to haunt us again. Athenian thinkers. Thirty-seven. To get that instruction too. Oh, I'm positive on manpower. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, restoring our home. I don't know whether or not the uh, communists might become a problem. Well, more of a problem than they are, already are. 